hi myself bsr botany lecturer okay today our topic is gynecium gynecium is the fourth role of the flower gynecium is the female reproductive organ you know that one androecium third role of the flower that is male reproductive organ gynecium female reproductive organ there the unit of the androecium is female here the unit of the gynecium is the carpel here the carpel when you take the carpel structure this is the carpel the carpel structure we we'll just observe here basal part the basal part is swollen that the basal part that the swollen basal part is called ovary middle elongated part is called style apical part is called stigma the carpel structure here the carpel is megasporophyll it is megasporophyll stamen microsporophyll microsporophyll contain microsporangium megasporophyll megasporophyll contain megasporangium this is megasporangium like that many are there megasporangium means ovule this is ovule megasporangium and where the ovules are attached to the ovary the part of the ovary that bears ovules this is the part of the ovary that bears ovules called placenta placenta mode of arrangement of ovules in the ovary is called placentation the process is called placentation anyway these carpels in some plants on thalamus totally free they are totally free so if the, the carpels are completely free there is no fission that condition is called epocarpus epocarpus in some plants two three or four or many carpels all the carpels are bind and to form appear like a single gynecium that condition is called syncarpus suppose you take this is the gynecium ovary so there it appears like structure 1 2 3 in this all three carpels all three ovaries three styles and stigmas fused to form appear like a single structure that structure is called syncarpus syncarpus when all the carpels are fused to form one structure that is called syncarpus so epocarpus condition can seen in lotus example lotus and rose also lotus and rose syncarpus condition all the carpels are fused to form single structure example mustard and tomato mustard and tomato okay so when the carpels are fused we have to the discuss about the placentation you know what is the mean of placentation mode of arrangement of ovules in the ovary is called placentation now this is the important topic placentation so placentation different types marginal placentation parietal placentation axial placentation placental placentation and basal placentation here the first one marginal placentation carpel is a modification of leaf for example i am showing this is you take the leaf 
here the leaf modification and you take this is the carpel carpel is the leaf modification so the carpels where the margins of the carpels are fused these are the margins of the carpels are where the margins of the carpels are fused that is called ventral suture the midrib region is called a dorsal suture so leaf this is the leaf margin and this is the midrib region so where the margins of the carpels are fused this region is called ventral suture and this region is called midrib region okay generally the ovules born on ventral suture ovules are burning on ventral suture okay so especially in vaginal placentation example you take dolicus in dolicus how many carpels are present only one carpel only one carpel so there the margins of the carpels are fused that is called ventral suture there only on the margins inside the ovules are born so ovules are born on ventral suture but these ovules are arranged in how many vertical rows two vertical rows like this but these two ovules are attached to ventral suture only like this so this is a marginal placentation example dolicus okay then i am going to parietal placentation the ovules are ovules are born on inner walls of the ovary inner walls of the ovary so this placentation is called parietal placentation so ovules are born on inner walls of the ovary that means where the carpels are fused there only ovules are formed this is the parietal placentation can seen in mustard and argimon mustard example another example argimon ncrt examples yeah correct then when you go for axial placentation it's a specialty look at here these are this carpel 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 the margins of the carpels are using and slowly that the margins are folding towards inside all the margins of the carpels are folding towards inside to form a clear cut chamber so the chambers are forming due to the formation of clear septa and mainly the ovules are born on central axis so central axis ovules are born on the central axis then the placentation is called axial placentation axial placentation example malvesi family members and solanesi family members high viscous high biscuit china rose and examples tomato another example even the lemon citrus lemon citrus tomato lycopascum esculentum high viscous china rose so this is the axial placentation so here ovules born on central axis then next one is pre central placentation sir free central placentation and the axial placentation same so example i am taking dianthus in dianthus also same ovules born on the central axis it is very clear you here multi carpel surface multi locule surface whereas this carpel 1 2 3 like how many locules 1 2 3 like but here same thing initially the septa are present here the ovules are born on central axis but septa are totally degenerated so that is why the ovary is unilocular but ovules are born on central axis initially septa are formed but the septa degenerate slowly and finally that multilocular ovary becomes unilocular ovules are born on central axis that placentation is called precentral placentation example dianthus 
and the last one is a basal placentation basal placentation generally is present in aspicy family members example tridax here in the tridax only one ovule many ovules may be formed but they reduce only one ovule developed from the base of the ovary so that placentation is called basal placentation so important topic uh, this is the placentation so parietal marginal placentation parietal placentation axile precentral and the basal placentation is a very very important topic so mode of arrangement of ovules in the ovary is called placentation okay thank you thank you to all